Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's Daily Challenge location. It is a really cool spot indeed. I mean, pretty awesome, isn't it? I mean, look at this. It, uh, it was really cool. I enjoyed it yesterday and now it's time for me to guess where I think this is as a good start to any episode does. Was this white bar always here? Like when when my mouse is when my mouse is down here, it's to the right and now it's to the left. So deal with that. Is, has that always been there? If I, if I just leave my mouse not moving, does it disappear? No. If I move my mouse down here, oh okay. Huh. Has that bar always been there? I don't know. That's that's interesting. I have no idea. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Maybe I just had to refresh and, and move that there. But okay, a bit bit, bit weird. Anyways. Uh, let me try and guess where I think this is. This is going to be in, um, this is going to be in, let's go with Bulgaria on this one. Bulgaria, somewhere like, uh, right, right here. Let's make the guess, and the answer was Ukraine. Ah, uh, okay, there you go. Ukraine on the side of a big river, uh, there it is. Okay, so... Oh no! Look at that. See, there's the city that doesn't love uh, that doesn't love the side of a river. Very cool. Twenty two sixteen. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge location. It is a lighthouse on a big old rock, with maybe some kind of uh, hidden monster or beast here that is being censored. But other than that, I mean, take a look at the place. Beautiful, beautiful uh, view. Nice waters. Big old rocks. A lighthouse and actually here's a clue a coast that is interesting there's a coast here as well so maybe that is some kind of clue but maybe uh, it's not so this is today's daily challenge which means it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are you put your guesses down in the comment section below and you tell me where in the world you think this is in tomorrow's videos comment section I announce the winner and in tomorrow's video I make a guess as to where I think this is so, if you have any idea, where in the world do you think we are right now? Put your guesses. Where in the world are we? Put that right in the comment section below, and you could win. No prizes, but glory. Oh, you could win glory. Well, okay, here we are in the main section of today's video. And in today's main section, it is a viewer challenge. One brought to us by none other than Thunderstorm17. Thank you so much thunderstorm 17 for uh this challenge very excited uh to give it a shot myself so that is really sweet all righty now uh if you're interested in creating your own custom challenge all you need to do is look down in the description below you can find uh, a link well a big list telling you how step by step how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me you can also find the link to this challenge thank you so much thunderstorm 17 for this one and there's no theme on this one but if you're interested in adding a theme to your challenge if you make one you can totally do that maybe there's a hidden theme on this one let's try and figure it out awesome challenge accepted okay we are most likely in america yeah i would say this is america Century 21, yeah, oh, American flag, American flag, American flag. This is a beautiful neighborhood. This is going to be somewhere nice and simple, nice in, nice in, in Milwaukee. There you go. We're in Milwaukee. Uh, now let's actually go find out where we are. Yeah, this looks, this looks like a good place to go. Uh, mate, hold on. Let's go back that truck to where we passed it. Um, no, there's nothing on the side of it. Okay. Um, the, which way do we want to go? Okay, well, we can go right here. Uh, this little junction right there. Let's go down this way and see what's written on the side. Oh, it's good. Is it? If I go over here, I can see. All right, it's there. All right, now let's see. Anything written on the side of this truck? That is usually a big clue. Um, Something, something solutions. 605 area code. Okay. Well, that doesn't help me too much. 605 area code. This is a really nice neighborhood. My God, there you go. Everyone's got big lawns, nice sidewalks. That's always nice. I, I hate it when, uh, you know, uh, there's like, you know, out in the suburbs when you're in a neighborhood that has no sidewalks. Gosh, is that ever, is that ever annoying? I really don't like that. I like a, you know, if it's going to be a nice, uh, I mean, this is quite, I'm assuming it's quite a wealthy neighborhood. I mean, the houses are all, they all seem to be one story, but they're, they're quite big and expansive. I'm guessing land is probably cheap in this area. It's, it's cheaper to build uh, big old properties than it is to build up. It's just interesting seeing 
uh, you know, houses that are, oh, there you go. This one, this one's a big, and this one has a second story as well. So there you go. Um, but I still have no idea where we are. License plates, uh, I can't really tell what state we are based on those. And this is, this is going to lead me to nothing. There's nothing there. Let's turn to start location. Maybe this way there's something. Also, there's a big a truck here. I can go take a look at it. Maybe it tells us where we are. Uh, 728 Turf. All right. That doesn't help us too much. What about on the door? Does it say where we are? No, it doesn't. Oh, that's too bad. Well, no idea yet where we are at all in the world. Uh, Heg. No. I don't know where that is. Let's keep on moving and see where we can find anything. Let's go right down this way. We got a pretty big road here. Which way? Left or right? We want to go to the right. Right up here, I think, is where we're going to find maybe our way out. Or maybe not. All right. This seems this seems like a, a, a better road right here. But which way? Left or right? Up there? Or down there. Oh, well, there's some stuff over here that I can see. Um, okay, the license plates, they look kind of familiar enough. Don't really know. Raven Oaks, Dakota Tanned Real Estate. Okay, so we're going to be in North Dakota. We are going to be in Southeastern. Maybe we'll be, maybe, we, maybe we're in South Dakota. Let's find out. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with far, yeah, Sioux Falls. Sure, let's call this Sioux Falls. That should make uh, a lot more sense. What do we see when we go here? Southern Hills. Yeah, all right. Everything's all about south over here. All right, let's do it. Let's make the guess. And the answer was, yep, yeah, that's exactly where we were. And we were uh, right over here in this beautiful neighborhood right there. 6230. Very nice. Okay. We are at one of those like rainforest cafe. Uh, no, we're not. <laughs> I've never been to a rainforest cafe, so there you go. We're at an indoor pool. It's rainforest themed. Okay. We got people. They're just hanging out. We got some people over here. There's a water slide. There you go. If you're a kid, this is like the most fun thing in the world. We got some people. They're just swimming. There's like a boring area over here. And nobody's having any fun with that. There's Coors Light on tap. There's caution signs. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's it's all in English, so I'm guessing we are in America again. There's nothing indicating. I mean, uh, yeah, Coors Light. The fact that they serve Coors Light makes me think super cold. Yeah, this is gonna be the coldest beer. I don't know, like a big swimming pool place like this. Like it feels so annoying to hang out here because I'm imagining it's like really humid in here. Where is this gonna be? No idea. Well, you know. I'm going to guess that this is we're going to we're going to go and we're going to call it close to where the other one was. We're going to say this is in Fargo. And the reason for that is because it's a relatively big city. Uh and you know what? I think our friend Thunderstorm likes to place us in the Dakotas if I remember correctly. So let's just make the guess and the answer was Sioux Falls again. I don't I, I was going for this. I was going for a different city. There you go. All right. South Dakota twice, same city. 2558. Not as bad as it could be. Now, this is just a park. This park can literally be anywhere. Now, how much do I think it's going to be in the same place? And how much do I think we're going to be in a different place? Well, what do we got to go? We got a name. Kyle Van... Van Ove. Kyle. That could be a very American name. Uh, it could be a very... It could be a name that could be to a person who lives in a lot of places. It's got a minivan over here. Uh, so like an SUV right there. Those are American looking vehicles. So this thing you would see a lot of on American streets. The houses look like American houses or Canadian. The park looks like a park you would find in America. Other than that, uh, I, there's not much to go on here, honestly. There's not many clues we can have um at all about where this could be i mean should i guess sioux falls again or should i guess not sioux falls i'm gonna say there can't be that many photospheres in sioux falls can there be 
Should I go with Fargo or I'll go with I'll go with hmm. I think Rapid City the climate's probably a bit a bit different than this. Honestly, this looks it looks more like Sioux Falls still. Different time of year. I'm going to go with it again on this one. We're going to call it right around right around over here. Let's make the guess and the answer was indeed there it was. This has to be somewhere else. So, there you go. We figured it out the third time. But this time, where are we going to be? Well, you know, it's nice It's nice to visit a city like that. You know, we got three views of uh, the same place. Unfortunately, uh, I mean, the sad thing is that, uh, you know, the, the two other ones were like indoor locations or just photospheres. So, we couldn't really enjoy them as we uh, might have wanted them. Because it's like, uh, it was just a very small snapshot but, uh, you know, we got to see a very nice neighborhood in that one city. It looked, looked like a pretty sweet place to live. Um, you know, it's uh, you, you got to drive to get anywhere. You know, you, gotta, you, you can't walk to school. You got to drive to... Uh, you may be able to walk to school, elementary school, uh, most likely. Or maybe high school if you're really lucky. I'm going to guess that we are in... Um, I, I don't really know. What does this say? This said something like Gold Rock. G yeah, Gold Rock. Okay, hmm, what state is this going to be in? I don't really know, so I'm going to go right over here, and what do we see? It says something gold rock, well we can't see, it's too blurry. So we got to keep moving down this way. The Wanderer, and we just got, there you go, some good stuff. Now there's a, there's a big van on the, or something on the side of the road. Let's go get, take a look at it and see, what does it say? An icy truck, I could go for an icy right now, actually... Not really, but, you know, whatever. ICs are fine. They're not great, but they're they're okay, I guess. Does it say anywhere? I don't know what that says. Something icy.com. All right, there you go. It's like, it's just like, uh, you know, the 7-Eleven slush drinks were pretty good. I remember in high school there was a 7-Eleven near it. And, uh, well, relatively near. There's no more 7-Elevens in the whole city anymore. They've all been replaced. At least, uh, I don't know, I mean, do you, are, are there still 7-Elevens where you live, or are they all gone? I think 7-Eleven might have completely pulled out of Canada. And, uh, you know, they used to make good ones there. Now you can get uh, slush drinks at uh, Max Milk. Those are, I mean, I haven't, I haven't had one in a long time, but I remember thinking they were definitely inferior. Um... A lot of the uh, a lot of the max a lot of the maxes in um, in Quebec have really really terrible slush drinks, but I think the ones in Ontario still have the big old machines and stuff like that that you know do them properly. I guess slush puppies are are fine too, uh, but I think I think the the best slush drink that I've had is at a place I don't even know the name of it because I think it changes names every two years, but I think it's like the same people because they still still make a banging one. I remember last summer I went there one time. There's a bubble tea place that has really, really good slush drinks. Uh, sort of, well, near enough where I live. I don't know the name of it, uh, but because uh, they change the name every year. Uh, but yeah, a good place. I'd, I'd recommend it. it I don't. You, I didn't give you a name, and I'm not going to give you a location either. Uh, but uh, if you can somehow randomly stumble into it, I recommend it. Very good. Nice slush drinks. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not above drinking a drink of slush. So where are we? Hell. I don't know. We're on a road in like the middle of, of uh, nowhere. Uh, there was a bus, desert bus. Desert bus means we're on the road between uh, Las Vegas and Reno. We're on right, right here. Let's make the guess, and the answer is no, Southern California, right over here. Okay, there you go. Good thing I didn't guess all the way uh, n near this area. Twenty three seventy five, and now we are ah. This should be the beautiful woods of Oregon. Very nice. But let's find out where it actually is. I think we're definitely in North America again. But I do not know where in North America we could be. So, let's move out, uh, let's move out this way and see if we can spot anything uh, of particular interest. We've been in a forest that's looked like this before. Now, whether or not it's actually been this forest is... Uh, uh, well, I have no idea, but it definitely looked kind of like this. Now, there's a little marker on the ground there. I want to see what that says. To be honest, I don't know what that means at all. I, I've got no idea. There was like a stop here. No words, no writing. Okay. 
If I keep going down this way, do we just end up we end up in in the middle of nowhere? Nowhere to be found. We're all gonna die. Well, these woods are quite long, so there you go. Let's keep moving this way. Maybe we'll see. I mean, just another car would at least okay. There you go. Narrow road next six miles. So we are in America. Oregon seeming more and more likely. Where in Oregon, we'll call it, uh, the, yeah, this national forest right here. Like on this road or something right there. And, uh, oh, okay, it's going to blur out. Let's return to start location and go the other way. See if then in that case we find anything. If we don't find anything, uh, pretty soon we'll just call it right there. Because, I mean, what the... Where else am I, I gonna? Where else am I gonna put us? This is like a nice road. Maybe some people go over here to uh, drive. Uh, oh, hold on. There was like something in these trees here. There was like no. Okay, I thought there was something there. Oh, look at that. There's like a it's like a trail leading into the woods this way. Man, this is this is getting creepy a little bit. There's big giant trees right on the side of the road. My God, I guess you can't. You probably shouldn't drive here very fast. You know, nice nice leisurely picturesque drive. There you go, Oregon. We'll call it right there. Boom. No, the answer was just south of San Francisco, actually, in uh, Big Basin Redwood State Park. Nice. Big basins. That's pretty sweet. 2206. So that 19551, the uh, first three locations, well, the first location was a good guess. The second location was honestly a good guess. And the third location was, well, I based my guess on the second one. So I don't know about that one. Maybe, you know, that's just pretty, pretty standard. Uh, guessing down over here instead of up here. Uh, I don't know. I've never been right here or here. So I guess it's decent enough. You know, it's the right half of America. And, uh, I mean, this is the right part of America. I could have guessed, like, California Redwoods instead of Oregon ones or Washington ones. But, uh, you know, that's fine. 19551. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh yeah. Have a good one.